Hey guys, Drift Buddy here, back again with some Group 5 racing. I have decided to do the live commentary uh, on this because I can't afford <laughs> to buy all the cars in this, this segment uh, at, at this point. I'm not that far into the game yet. Uh, so we are going to rent the car and race them. So, starting from the top. We're gonna go to the Nissan 300ZX and see how he, it performs around the track. So let's just see if all the settings are correct. Race setup. Uh, we're at the track. I really like these unrestricted racing cars. Just brutal animals. Just look at that thing. That's an intake running in the middle of the windscreen. <laughs> okay. Is the whoa, 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 whoa. Really spin galore. Oh my, oh my, slagged off. Yes, yes. This thing accelerates like. Oh, 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 oh. Well. I can clearly say that this thing is bloody dangerous. And the visibility is crap. Whoa, 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 whoa. There. But this thing accelerates. Yes, three Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Yes, this windshield reflection is really buggering my vision. Slow down. Oh. Be gentle with the throttle. Why is the speed over vibrating like that? <laughs> Shouldn't that thing be fixed? Who held it together with cable ties? I need to go into the pits and ask the pit, pit manager what on earth is going on here. Yes, that thing accelerates like a bullet out of a barrel. Oh, even though a bullet doesn't accelerate out of a barrel, it loses speed constantly. <laughs> well. Just want to change something this was the problem with the pre before the update as well is that with simulation it's, it just doesn't feel right I know some youtubers can drive with the simulation on but with the steering wheel it doesn't feel right when I've played Assetto and all that sort of stuff most of all the assists of normal steering feels more realistic. Okay, the first lap was a complete mess. Okay, okay. It just boggles the mind how fast this thing accelerates, my goodness. Oh, 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 and, and it has the power. Two wheel spin with that thick, thick sticks at the back. Break, 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 break. We do not have ABS. Whoa, 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 no driver aids whatsoever. You only got the slips, the steering wheel, and your common sense holding you on the road. Uh, it's just insane, the turbo lag as well. It's like nothing, nothing, and oh my! Goodness! 
hold on for dear life <laughs> and pray I'm not going into the war. Just look at the speed, 290 already. 300. 313. I wonder if it even has six gears. If it does, this thing will be one of the fastest. If the straight is long enough. Oh, come, come on, come on. Don't slide, don't slide. Must shift there a little bit. Oh, whoa, 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 300. This thing is insane. My goodness. Come on. This, this reflection on the windshield is really bad. And uh, sorry for the racing line, guys. My depth, depth perception isn't good on games. I said the Corsa can go because it has clear, uh, uh, what is it, brake markers. But here on Forza, it's hard to see them for some other reason. Okay. Whoa, 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 300, whoa, 300, whoa, 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 whoa. It's just insane, I can't believe this. The speed! Oh, it's miles an hour on the speeder, so for you guys who that are wanting to see the Imperial values, it's on the rail count, or on the hut of the rail car. Corner, eh? I just can't put, <laughs> put the power down there. Come on. The speed. You have to be so gentle on the brake brakes and on the throttle, otherwise. The only thing you're going to see is the wall of the grass. Someone could have at least put some sleeping on the wires to the red, uh, to the hut. My goodness. This is a professional racing car for, for Pete's sake, not a missile drift car. There's no ground slow down. Fine. Driving too slow for you guys, please let me know. <laughs> this thing isn't the easiest to hold in on the road, especially with no driver aids. <laughs> it's just the speed. Um, on the brakes. Hi. He pressed the clutch there. Don't come here with your grinding gears sound. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, Okay, rubbed against the wall there a little bit. Whew. Okay, slow, slow, slowly on the throttle, slowly, slow. Whoa. The speed. This car just wants to hop around a lot. <laughs> it's almost, it's almost as if it doesn't, if it can't make up its mind. Do I want, do I want to grip or do I want to slide out of control into the tires? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. There we go, there it 
us getting on there. Oh, my throat is even dry of trying to keep this car on the road and it's just virtually. Let's have six gear. No, only five. <laughs> and across the line. Oh, oh. I, I just want to take the OD. <laughs> you can't say no to exhaust like that. <laughs> and I want to hear that five cylinder. Hey, hey, hey. 530 kilowatts and four wheel drive. I don't believe it will be fast on the streets, but in the corners. Hey, hey, hey. Let's take it. And after that, we'll take the Mercury. I personally saw one of these in real life. Yes. The sound, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, not the wildest five-cylinder sound I've heard. Oh, the grip is fantastic. I can actually go full throttle out of corners. Oh, what a slide. What, 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 was that a slide? Very short gears. Or is it accelerating just insanely fast? But so far I like, I love the handling. I don't have the constant fear of it spinning out at every... Ah, oh, come on, the shit of that. <laughs> Constantly spinning out at every corner it tries to exit. Hey, six gears. And as you can see, it's not that fast. Oh, I knocked up. But can go faster that corner. Yes, and it revs to the moon. Yep, it's a little bit on the sluggish side compared to the 300 ZX. But hey, maybe we can make it up in corners. Oh my, what happened there? That's just bad for my side. Total wheel lock up. How can I forget I don't have ABS? Acceleration to 200 is immense. Okay, but that, that's because it has grip. There you go. A little bit of understeer, but that's logical with a four-wheel drive car like this. One minute. Oh my! <laughs> I was looking at the previous car time. One forty-six to beat. If I can do the first corner right, I think I can. I'll be able to do this. Snow is fast, they say. Oh, beautiful. This 
car handles phenomenal. The more I hear it, the more I like the sound, but of all the car games I can remember that has the best 5 standard sound, it's a set of Porsche, if I'm correct. That turbo whistle and everything. No, 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 no. Not bad, not bad. Damn it, fifth gear. <laughs> The problem is with the Thrustmaster THA shifter is that because there's a 7th gear, uh, there isn't something blocking you to go into 7th, so you're constantly shifting from 4th into 7th. Oh, this car just has the exposure through the corners, it's so easy. It's like driving a Fiat Panda around a track. Okay, that's a bad comparison, but yeah, it doesn't feel like you're going fast. Let's drive. Oh, second is the gear here. Let's try third, but then we are going a little bit too fast. There we go. And onto the back. On this track, the top speed really has an influence on the lap times. Don't lock up for Pete's sake. Keep it on the road. There we go. Just a little bit drift body action there. Through that lap away. We only have the final lap to prove ourselves. I don't think that is aerodynamically efficient to have a wing mirror strapped to the roll cage and it protruding through a hole on the side. That hole is a lot of drag. Slowing fast out. Why is my current lap also flagged? I can't remember doing something wrong on this lap. And the sound glitches of Forza 7 on the PC. What a brilliant game! The reason why I chose this track is that it's a good influence or a good mixture of straight line, speed and cornering. So if the car doesn't handle that exceptionally well, it might have a good top speed. And so half of the track is almost straight, okay, but that's uh, almost half of the track. And the other half is uh, corners and quite vicious corners. I'm not gonna write down the time here because I think they won't show me the right one. Yeah, I did there 146 it seemed. Seems. 
I can English really. And we are on the track with the Mercury Cougar XR7. What is it? Whisker, Whisper, Whisper, Whistler, Whistler. <laughs> all the all the W's w were said in that sentence. <laughs> okay. I believe it's a naturally aspirated V8. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs> Something strange is going on after restarting the game. Suddenly, the force feedback is insane. I like the linear power of this naturally aspirated V8. This thing accelerates good. And handles pretty good for a real drive car, but, but I think it's because of the linear power delivery. It's not like the 300 ZX that suddenly it's you get the, the turbo lag ends and then you have all the boost in the world. Okay, slow down, slow down. Let's see how you do in this corners. A little bit of a full drift through there. I see now this car doesn't have a shift light. Hmm. What pages do we have here? And what is this blue? Blue. It looks like a, a like a an air system coupling or something like that. Like a. If they maybe want to jack up the car, maybe there's a that air pistons underneath the car. Or when they want to switch the tires. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. This cowling or something on the hood. Really is in the way when you're turning to a right hander. Can't see where the apex is. Okay. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. A little bit of a drift buddy sideways action there. But this car handles pretty good for a real. What lag spike was that? For, for yeah. onto a other topic. For a game that costs over a hundred US or Euro. It's one of the glitchiest games I've played in terms of the gameplay and the sound and that sort of stuff. And it's not like Turn 10 is in a financial trouble. I can make great games. It's not that hard. And why is Forza Horizon 3 doesn't it have a good wheel support? I don't understand it on the PC. Okay, onto this car again. You see? Did you hear that? The sound. Almost like lagging. There. Race into 9000. What if it's a push? If it's a push rod V8 or a that three valve motor from Ford that they used in the Fox Body Mustang. I 
I like this linear power delivery. It's nice. Makes it so predictable. To control the car much more finer with the throt the throttle input. And the speed isn't bad as well. It also reached 300 kilometers per hour. kilometers per hour is what 180 miles an hour or 183 miles an hour I'm trying to work it out in my head right now okay brakes brakes This car is actually pretty n nice to drive, if I can say so. And there's a lorry driving past in front of my house. Thank you, lorry. So good. And the sound like okay. How the windshield also gets dirty on the game, uh, almost like dust. So you can see the little particles on the windscreen. Nice touch. Not as fast as the 300. All the rear wheel drive group 5 cars I've driven now. This one for the rear wheel drive save has exceptional good handling. Good front end turn in. Not so squirmy under braking. And it doesn't lose for the slightest input on the throttle, like the 300ZX rocket, but with those turbos on it, and that VG30 DET engine. I can't, I can't hold it against the 300ZX then. I had to search for some words there. My English start, were, was starting to run out. <laughs> and on to the brakes. Yes, we can. And across the line. One minute forty-five. Where's the car? <laughs> oh, it beat it the three hundred. Goes to show. Power isn't everything. If you have grip, you can win. Okay, well, you, you need a little bit of power to go with the grip, otherwise <laughs> you won't, won't be fast on the straights. Yeah, and that concludes this episode. 
three cars down. How many more is there to go? There's one, two, oh, they did that. Three, four, five cars left. So, yeah, next episode, three cars, and the last one, two. Now, let's move on to the leaderboards and see where these n new three new competitors of ours, the 300ZX and the Cougar and the OD, lie stacks up to, against the other cars. And the Mercury Cougar ends up in second place just behind the 280ZX in a 1 minute 45.129. The Nissan 300ZX on its tail with a 1 minute 46.577 and very close then the OD90 Quattro with a 1 minute 46.821. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time guys, keep it sideways, keep it fun. Drift buddy, out.